The 1920s was a decade which witnessed the development of mass production, cinema, jazz, and the introduction of prohibition. Nicknamed the Roaring Twenties, this decade was a celebration of youth and its culture. In this period of relative prosperity, the new generation questioned values of the past and were able to experiment with new values and radical styles of the future. These liberal times brought about new ideas and theories about the world. One theory that became popular during the 1920s was the controversial theory of evolution. The theory of evolution suggests that all species are descendants of a common ancestor through a process of natural selection. During the 18th century, the well-known naturalist and scientist Charles Darwin published his theory of evolution in his two books entitled On the Origin of Species and the Descent of Man. Darwin believed that through natural selection, a process based on the survival of the fittest, organisms could evolve in order to become better suited to their environment and therefore more likely to survive. This theory was introduced at a time when religion played a large role in people's lives, and many found this theory atheistic and disrespectful. During the 1920s, however, this theory was still being discussed, and it caused tension and controversy between those who accepted the theory and the growing number of fundamentalists who had a strict interpretation of the Bible. Unfortunately, since neither theory can be proven or disproven, this controversy is still prevalent today. One of the most prominent and well-known battles between science and religion pitted the theory of evolution against the belief of creationism, the theory that a supernatural being created the world and its organisms. This battle became known worldwide as the Scopes Monkey Trial. The Scopes trial was an American court case that took place in the summer of 1925 in response to the Butler Act, a bill enacted in Tennessee during February 1925. This act made it illegal to teach any theory that denied the story of divine creation, such as evolution. News of this bill quickly spread through the country and the American Civil Liberties Union decided to fight back. The ACLU began to search for a willing teacher who could stand up in a court case against the act. The man who took this chance was 24-year-old John Scopes, a science teacher and coach from Dayton, Tennessee. Scopes agreed that in order to teach biology, one must be able to teach evolution in the classroom. The court case began. Working on the defense, the ACLU hired attorneys Clarence Darrow, Arthur Garfield Hayes, and Dudley Field Malone. The prosecution's legal team included three-time presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan, A.T. Stewart, and Ben B. McKenzie. At the start of the trial, the defense's intention was only to oppose the Butler Act, which they deemed unconstitutional because it violated the separation of church and state. However, once the trial began, it turned into a debate over the interpretation of the Bible and William Jennings Bryan's knowledge of the Genesis and Science. After seven long, hot days, the trial was finally coming to an end. Clarence Darrow wanted the opportunity for the case to be appealed to the Tennessee Supreme Court. Therefore, he asked the jury to return a guilty verdict. The jury agreed with Darrow, denying William Jennings Bryan the chance to deliver his closing statement and leaving Scopes with a $100 fine which the ACLU promptly paid. Nearly a year after the case was closed, the Tennessee Supreme Court declared that the verdict should be reversed on account of a technicality. However, instead of investigating the case more thoroughly, the Supreme Court dismissed the case and it wasn't until 1967 that the state legislature finally abolished the Butler Act. While the Scopes trial ended years ago, it appears this controversy between the separation of church and state is still prevalent today. Several decades later, during the 1990s, a new theory was proposed for the evolution of man. This new theory became known as intelligent design. According to the New World Encyclopedia, intelligent design is the view that it is possible to infer from empirical evidence that certain features of the universe and of living things are best explained by an intelligent cause that is not natural selection. In 2005, this theory of intelligent design set off a court case similar to the Scopes trial in context. This case took place in Dover, Pennsylvania, when a local school board, school board decided that when evolution was being taught in biology class, 
teacher should be required to teach about intelligent design first. Parents challenged the Board of Ed in a six-week trial, claiming that their decision was a breach on the Establishment Clause. The Kitzmiller v. Dover trial resulted in the removal of the requirement because it determined that requiring teachers to teach intelligent design was unconstitutional. The Scopes trial was one of the most memorable debates between science and religion or evolution and creationism. However, despite the consi consistent attempts at teaching both theories in the classroom, it appears we still have a long way to go before the controversy ends and church and state can go can coexist peacefully.